Welcome to our next Beyond the Board interview session for Pro Chess League teams. We are here with the Shangdu Pandas and uh, very excited to be welcoming them back to the United States once again, San Francisco. You guys made it all the way to the Final Four last year. Ultimately fell short, just one round short to the Armenia Eagles. Uh, this question is for, for Li Chao. What do you think makes this year's team stronger, uh, more, more prepared, or better suited to maybe deal with the environment? Well, why do you think this team has a better chance to win the whole thing? Uh, actually, yeah. actually, last year, our player had the other problem. So finally, uh, Wang Yue and the uh, Grandmaster Ning Hua going to San Francisco. But this year, we have three Grandmaster will come in. So I think our team better than last year. So that's why I, I, I hope we can finally get the champion, but we don't know. But I think right. we have, yeah. And, and you're coming yourself, right, as a player manager. So that's that's a big boost, right? <laughs> Maybe. Jokes aside, no. But Li Chiao, seriously, you are one of the one of the uh, few player managers in the league. Uh, for those who yeah. don't know, you um, you're the you're the guy behind it, along with your assistant there, Alex. And thank you for being here translating. Mm -hmm. So, Li, Li Chiao, what's the what's the hardest part of managing the Shangdu Pandas? Uh, I think the point is uh, we have like uh, Yang Yiren and some Grandmaster. And uh, but they sometimes they have tournament and uh, about our players rating actually not so actually not so good. So the point is sometimes we our four play higher than I think ten thousand, and so that's why we play about the rating. That's a big problem for us. Okay, makes sense. I, I have a I have a question. My next question is for Zhang Di. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, assuming you're you you'll be in San Francisco, are you are you nervous playing in front of the live crowds? Given that um, you've never played in a tournament like that, and I assume you've probably never played in in, in the United States. So I'm asking if he's nervous. Yeah, he said he's a little bit nervous, but uh, from from my perspective, he's very calm. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, he didn't he didn't look like he was that nervous with it. But Wang Yue, you you played in some of the biggest you played in some of the biggest matches uh, for the pandas um, since since the beginning, and uh, are are you nervous? You you'll be you'll be back on the big stage where you you had some big games last year. What what are you what are you most excited about doing in uh, in San Francisco this year differently than last time to help them win? Uh, 在电脑上下下的比较少，然后今年针对这个呃在电脑上下块棋，然后多下一些，所以说的话呢，可能今年准备要比呃去年要更好一些。至于紧张不紧张，肯定是不紧张的。这个还是我们相信自己的实力吧
a stronger player than than Zavin Andreasian on paper, right? He's a higher rated player. But I'm wondering if he felt that the biggest advantage the Eagles had was that they were more comfortable playing online blitz. How even? Just如果说要是换到基本上下的话，呃，我觉得结果可能会不同吧。实际上我们去年在决赛开始的时候，我们一直还是领先的，只是最后被拖入了加时赛。然后我觉得在这个电脑上下跟在基本上下还是有很大
how much support do you feel from your local uh, fan base? Do, do a lot of people know about the Pandas and your and your guys' success in the Pro Chess League? We know this well, actually, in China, uh, if you play chess, of course, you know pro, pro chess league, but if you don't play chess, of course, you, you, you don't know this tournament. And uh, the point is, uh, about our team, actually, we have a, we have a club, and uh, um, I think this team is Yuan Sheng, the Okay, and he said uh, we, we cultivate uh, the, the players in our club are, are all cultivated by us. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, I think I think some I, I know this this year some team will play, but they forget the date, so that's why finally they they, they miss the chance to qualify to 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 to, to the purchase league yes 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 and uh, i i i think maybe next year we will have the other two league. teams or three teams will come in yeah I think so. yeah mm -hmm. but that's exciting right does are you guys going to have any rivalry with that team or you just want more teams the better I hope have many many team will come in if best and uh, I I think this rules very well and because how, how how to say that how to say which team is best team I think I think not so easy because I think the rules very well yeah. right. <laughs> Back back to a question from Wang Yue. Um, you you were the uh, the only person who's traveling this year that played last year, <laughs> and uh, so so you're a, you're a most aware of the event. What will you say to your teammates in regards to helping them be prepared? It's playing in a different format with the headphones and the music and the people going crazy and all that stuff. So what, what would be your advice for your, uh, to your teammates about, about the different format that, uh, that the Pro Chess League Finals is? Uh, he said that he will just uh, show his personal experience to us, and uh, yeah, you know that uh, the uh, the game, the the venue of that day is phenomenal, and uh, yeah, at, at first we may just uh, feel a little bit comfortable. We are not very used to that kind of game, that kind of format, but uh, uh, I think uh, finally we will get used to it. And uh, he will also try his best to uh, tell uh, the teammates of Chengdu Panda uh, what they need to do to uh, to uh, make a better performance in that uh, format in that game. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, Wang Yue, did you did you struggle with jet lag at all last year? Obviously, you're flying from China to San Francisco. Was it was it hard for you? Uh, was there any jet lag last year? <laughs> Uh, just a little bit. He is used to that, but he's used to that because he's a chess professional, right? Yeah, traveling <laughs> everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, the uh, the t the matchup across across the room will be St. Louis versus Armenia. Who would you rather face? Uh, do you want to get Armenia for a chance at revenge, uh, or would you rather face off against St. Louis? I'm going to ask that question for every every teammate. Maybe Wang Yue first, and then Zhang Di, and then Li Chao. So for Wang Yue, and uh, he said, of course, we want to meet uh, Armenia Eagles in the final, and we, we want to revenge. I love it. Yeah. Okay. 
What about Zong D? He's new. He, you know, he doesn't have the same feelings of revenge. But do, do you want to play Armenia as well, Zong D? <laughs> He has no and uh, has no idea about these two teams. He thinks that both of these two teams are very strong. So he doesn't sort of care uh, which team we were fight, we are meeting the final. Got it. Well, Li Chiao, I mean, uh, as both a player and a manager, right? Who would you rather play against, and who do you think your team stacks up better against, St. Louis or Armenia? Uh, in my mind, I think I do not think more because I want to face but the banner first, then wait for the news. And uh, I think it's easy because because we should step by step to to to, to improve. The isolation is very important for us. Spoken like that's a good good managerial answer, right? That's that's the right <laughs> mindset as a manager. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Very official answer from the manager. Yeah, that's good. He passed the test. He passed my secret test that I laid for him. So, um, who would win in a fight? A panda or an eagle? I mean, let's discuss this. Like, if you had a real fight, first for Wang Yue, a panda bear versus an eagle, who wins in a real life fight? <laughs> This is important stuff here. I gotta know. He said that don't trick by the cute appearance of a panda. Actually, panda is one of the most aggressive animals in the nature. I, I I love that's what I want. All right, Zhang Di, what do you think? Would a panda beat an eagle? The eagle can, the eagle can fly down and kind of poke at you, and bite you before you can get it. So could could a panda deal with an eagle? I'm on the edge of my seat here. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, um, for for ego, uh, maybe yeah, because the yeah, the ego has the uh, all attacking range of the from, from the sky, and it's and uh, for as for the attacking ability, uh, the ego is better, but uh, panda is better at a defense. And, uh, That's a fascinating answer. That's the, the the advantage of the sky. So, all right. Um, well, back to back to some some chess here. Uh, this is a question for both Zhang Di and Li Chao. Um, but one of the storylines we've discussed is that the Chinese league offers players like Zhang Di a chance to compete and to get better, even though their FIDE rating isn't necessarily going up, right? But he's still getting much better all the time. He's in your school, right, Li Chao? Right. So we know he's working hard. And so, do you feel like? psychologically it represents a huge advantage that people don't know maybe what Zong Di's real strength is, Li Chao, and is that one of the reasons you like having him in the lineup? Yeah, of course, because nobody know him, and uh, and at the point, but, but the point is, he he didn't play Chinese league because he don't oh. know play Chinese league, and uh, uh, of, of course, uh, he can play pro league. I think he's is a good way to improve team and uh, about about for the other opponents actually not so easy to find his game and right. like good news for us but uh, but so you know he draw with my media love and so i think maybe in the world some some focus on Chengdu Panda fans will know his name but uh, i think for his future he have mm, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he need to <clears throat> improve more yeah yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. The uh, uh, they don't have a Chinese league for for kids. 
No, nice. he, yeah. have, he don't have chance to to to, to play because uh, if you play Chinese League A, uh, we have two group D, and if you play League A, that means is maybe all pro professional chess player. So he not professional chess player. <laughs> not, not a professional chess player yet, right? But, yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, um, the. Uh, the other question I, I had about uh, competing competing in the league uh, for the Pacific Division is it is it something that uh, is hard for you guys week in and week out because of the time zone difference, or do you feel that the Pacific Division is is uh, where where probably the best time for you guys? We think uh, we are okay with the time difference because and uh, when the when, when the game happens is in the morning uh, in China not too early not too late. So we, we think it's a very appropriate time for us. And uh, as for the ability of, of the teams in Pacific Division, uh, we, we also think it's, it's okay. But you know, you know, for our team, the point is not the time, the point is internet. So <laughs> we do have the game lost with internet. So I think this is a big problem for us. And uh, last year and this year we have the same problem, but this year, a little bit dangerous for us because uh, <clears throat> last round I think Zhao Jun lost three rounds and the two games because because of the poor internet connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Well, um, I've got we've got a few other general questions about the league, if that's okay. Before we let before we let you go, this has been this has been a lot of fun. But we've we've talked about uh, which animal would fare better, panda or, or eagle. But mm -hmm. let's talk about chess players it, it seems that some chess players can perform even better in team events uh, and so i have a question for for each of you for for wang yue zong di and li chao do you feel you play better in team events like the pro chess league like the olympiad uh events where you're where you're playing for others or or does it not matter so much to you whether you're playing a team event or not uh for wang yue first whether he whether he feels he plays better in a team event and from Wang's perspective, he's a better team chess player uh, because he think uh, in, in, the team, in the team events. Uh, it's more it's better for him to keep a rhythm and uh sitting from the results is uh, actually uh, perform better in team events yeah okay uh what about zong d <laughs> So well, he's played the Pro Chess League. Oh, <laughs> 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 And uh, and uh, in in that game in in PCR because he's bold four and his rating is not that high. So and uh, he think he he is afraid of <laughs> he, he is afraid of <laughs> his opponents and uh, maybe his performance. He he said he said his performance is not that good to uh, have a Chengdu Panda enough. So he think maybe his and. Uh, he, uh, individual tournaments results is better, are better. Okay. Than okay. Yeah, it makes sense. He's nervous when he plays high-rated players. Li Xiao, how, how do you feel? Uh, 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 two part. As a player, do you play better in team events? And as a manager, do you look for that in players? Do you try to 
do you try to build a team where you feel like people will be good in that environment? I think the Chinese player all better than the readings. No, no, all better than team tournament. Okay. <laughs> because in, in, in our mind, our country is uh, more yeah. important than the right. person. Yeah, so that's why uh, if we play team tournament, we are very, very fun. <laughs> we, we get <laughs> extra motivation when we play team events. Right. In, in our mind, in our culture, and uh, Collectivism is always and uh, it's always and uh, put over that individualism. Right, and it's funny because chess is chess is the ultimate individual game in many ways. Right, it's a it's an individual sport, but it, but in a team environment, uh, do you get do you get do you advise your players to just focus on their games, Li Chao, or do you encourage them to look at how their teammates are doing and maybe change decisions based on how they think the games are going? Uh, I think our, our, um, our teammates have different choice. In, in my mind, in my mind, when I play uh, uh, my game, I, will, I, I want to see the other games, so that's why usually I, I will open the window on. Yeah, yeah. Brewster? Yeah. And uh, I, I will see his game, I will see Moyes' game. And of course, if I play, I, I, I will think, but sometimes if I have time, I will see how about the final game else. Yeah. I think this for me very, very important, but I don't know the other. The other player, I think I fo they will focus on their games. Yes. Makes sense, yeah. To each his own, then. Well, this has been this has been a lot of fun. Uh, Wang Yue, are you are you eating? Or, uh, it looks like you had to get something. You got a snack? I I was just kidding, but you know, uh, we're really looking forward to to seeing you guys again. Uh, obviously, we know that last year didn't quite go uh, as far as you wanted, but it, it sounds like we have a very prepared Panda team here and that you guys have done the preparation to, uh, to, to have a different result this time. Um, so the uh, last question I have for you is, um, don't let your arms get tired, have a safe flight. No, I'm kidding, I don't have any more questions. Uh, but. Uh, the uh this has been a lot of fun having the pandas in the league and uh, we wish you continued success so uh congratulations on making it and uh, we will see you in the finals uh in uh, in about a week's time yeah thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.